see when okay hello and welcome I'm Dr. Stacy Shillington and today I want to talk about a topic that has affected so many of us as women and that topic is the birth control pill and how it affects us both in terms of our health and in terms of our beauty so I know how traumatizing acne can be. I've been there, I've experienced it, and I know that when you have a face full of blemishes, you want nothing more than to get rid of the blemishes now, stat, ASAP, please clear up my skin. I've been there, and at times I would have given anything to just clear up my skin so I could feel good about myself and get on with my life, right? And so many of us, have the birth control pill sitting right there as an option to get rid of the acne fast. But hold on, please, please, please take a moment and consider exactly what the birth control does and how it affects your skin because the birth control is not a solution for acne. It's actually a very temporary solution. It can cause hair loss. And once you go off the pill, it's going to make your skin worse. This is the truth. It's simple science. I'm going to share with you the science behind why this is happening. Um, but not many women know that the pill is actually going to make their skin worse in the long, long run. And they definitely usually do not know that the pill is directly linked to hair loss. And I know this because when I was in my early 20s, I had mild acne. It really wasn't that bad. And I went to my doctor and my doctor prescribed the birth control pill. And okay, in this, this time it was the early 90s, right? So I wasn't able to go on the internet and research the birth control pill and connect with women, other women out there easily to understand what they were experiencing. So I just said, yes, it sounded great to me. I was gonna get rid of my acne, I was gonna have a reliable form of birth control. So done and done, I was fully in. So I was on the birth control for about 10 years. Things were pretty good with my skin. I didn't notice much um, in the way of acne. And then about 10 years later, I thought, okay, now it's time for me to get off the pill. I knew I wanted to start a family eventually, but I was also a really serious yogi, and I was becoming a naturopathic doctor, and the pill just wasn't resonating with where I was at in my life. So I stopped the birth control pill, and literally within one week, my skin completely flared up. It was the worst acne I had ever experienced, probably a 100 times worse than the mild acne I was experiencing in my early 20s. It was super dramatic. So this was super upsetting on its own, but on top of that, my hair started to fall out. Now, I have really fine hair, as you can tell, um, but I always had a lot of it, so it wasn't a big deal. But once I started, once I stopped the pill and it started to fall out a lot, it was fine and thin, and I couldn't do anything with it. So I had, thin hair that I couldn't do anything with. I had awful skin and it completely affected my life. I went from being outgoing and confident to completely just wanting to hide away from the world. It was awful and it was due to the effects of the pill. That's what happened. It took me a long time to figure out how to balance my body. Um, I was able to stop the hair loss. I don't feel I've ever gotten back the fullness that I had before going off the pill. Um, and that's why it just makes me as passionate I am, as I am to share this information with you because I do not want this to happen to you. So I'm gonna to explain to you a little bit about why the pill causes these devastating effects. So first of all, this is a fact about the pill not everybody knows, but when you take the birth control pill, it completely shuts down your natural estrogen and your natural progesterone production. It's kind of like female castration in a way. We're not producing our natural hormones. And believe me, the estrogen and the progesterone that our body produces is amazing for our bodies. It helps us feel 
amazing. It helps us look beautiful. It preserves our health. These hormones are vital. And instead, we're taking synthetic hormones, which do not act the same. And there are lots of side effects with the birth control pill. Of course, there are the deadly blood clots, which many women have died from. There's depression. There's insulin dysregulation and weight gain. There's loss of libido. And these are just a few of the symptoms that women are experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis because they have been chemically castrated and they're taking synthetic hormones. But because I do what I do, post-pill acne and hair loss are really devastating side effects and nobody talks about them when they are prescribed the pill. I mean, I think it's, I've never heard of a patient who, you know, admitted that their doctor told them that when they get off the pill, they are gonna have really bad hair loss and really bad acne, never. It's like we're kept in the dark and we need to share this information with each other. So there are basically two types of pills. One type of pill has a high androgen index. These are the pills that use synthetic progestins like medroxyprogesterone, levonorgestrel, and norgestrel. Those are the most common synthetic progesterones in high androgen index pills. These pills are typically not used to treat acne, but what they do is they tend, over time, they shrink the hair follicles which leads to hair loss over time. And this is so significant that in 2010, the American Hair Loss Association issued an official warning to women taking the pill that it can potentially lead to irreversible dramatic hair loss. Like, that's a big deal. And by the way, I never heard that warning. <laughs> I don't know who heard it or where they posted it, but I'm sure they tried to keep that as quiet as possible. Um, because if I was a woman and I knew that was a side effect, I would stay far away from the pill. I don't know about you. Okay, so that's the first class of birth control pill. The second class of birth control pill is a low androgen index pill. And these are the types of pills that are typically used for women who have acne to treat the acne. And the synthetic progestins, progestins that are used in these pills include drisperinone and norgestimate. And norgestimate is the type of pill that I took for many years. If you're on Yasmin or something like that, that's a very common pill. Then drisperinone is likely the progestin that, progestin that you are taking. So what happens is while you're actually on the pill, you're okay. The, the pill blocks androgens. Your skin is pretty decent. Some people, that's it's not the solution, and that's a whole other story. Um, but when you go off the pill, that is when all hell will break loose in your body because you no longer have the androgen blocking action and there's going to be an androgen surge in your body. A lot of androgens are going to be produced and you are going to be more sensitive to androgens. And what happens is that you get really severe post-pill acne, probably more severe acne than you had before you went on the pill. And this is also when hair loss will occur. So going off the pill, is very traumatic for so many women because it wreaks havoc with your skin and your hair. And this is simple science, this is real science, this is happening all over the world to millions of women and it's really, really upsetting. I've been through it, I know how awful it is. So what can we do about it, what is the solution? So number one, if you have acne, and you are looking for a solution and you're desperate, my advice to you is balance your body from the inside out. It doesn't take that long. It takes a couple of weeks, maybe two or three months, but by balancing your body, you're gonna heal your body, you're going to heal your skin, and you're probably gonna have even better hair. <laughs> so it's win, win, win. It's the solution. And if you're already on the pill and you are terrified to come off, 
because you do not want to experience post pill acne or the hair loss. Or if you've tried to come off the pill and you've experienced that, so you went back on the pill, and you don't know what to do, you feel trapped, there is a way to come off the pill and minimize the effects of the androgen surge and androgen sensitivity that can occur. And you have to start at least a month before you go off the pill and you have to support your liver, you have to balance your blood sugar, you have to start healing your gut. You do this for a month first, then you go off the pill and you remain on the same program for a few months until your estrogen, your progesterone, and your androgens have rebalanced. And by doing this, you can avoid most of the effects of post-pill acne and hair loss. So that's really encouraging and it's really important because when I went off the pill, I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I was not a naturopathic doctor at that point. I was just like doing what I thought I needed to do without any support. But I am here to help you if you want to clear your acne, if you want to get off the pill. I have a solid program that is going to help you for both. It's called the seven week clear skin program, guys. This program works. It is what I have been using for hundreds of patients as a naturopathic doctor. And it's all about healing your body from the inside out. It's not such a big deal. It doesn't take that long. And the results are really yours for life, right? Like, you know, clear skin and a healthy body, once you learn how to attain it, it's yours forever. So, you know, I would love to help you on your clear skin journey. I'm really passionate about, you know, informing women about how to best serve their health and how to help them achieve beauty from the inside out. You know, we obviously cannot rely on, you know, big pharma. We cannot rely on the beauty industry to help us attain real, true, lasting health and beauty. We have to take back our power and do it ourselves. We have to really take responsibility for our health and beauty. And that's what I'm all about sharing and teaching. So be sure to check out my seven week clear skin program. I really want to share. I really want to help you. Also be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I give great daily tips on anti-aging and acne every single day. And that's pretty much all I wanted to share. I know I'm not answering the comments you guys are putting in. That's because I feel like if I stop and answer the comments, I'm going to lose my train of thought. So I'm sorry about that. Just, you know, send me a DM or I'll answer your, your comments in a minute later manually. <laughs> but thank you so much for tuning in today. I can tell by all the comments, this is a really big deal for women. And I know just by talking to women and helping them as their doctor, it's huge. And it's something that we need to address. It's, you know, a bigger deal than just, you know, getting clear skin. It's women's health. It's, you know, taking back our power. It's a huge issue and, you know, women from my generation, I feel like we just were not that well informed, but, you know, I also feel like it's our responsibility to teach, you know, the younger women out there and all the other women out there too, you know, the truth and how to truly take care of your health and your well-being. So that's my mission. That's why I'm here. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye.